Kelly Maxwell opens it up with a swinging first pitch strike. And we're Kelly Maxwell will do just that. Keeping Maya Davis off the base paths. Good looking at their numbers compared to right-handed arms. 266 against righties. Two, Two outs. 267 against lefties. Overall, this team in stay for this order. Maxwell fires the 3-1. And there is that eye you were talking about, Aaron, as Rowe is aboard with a two-out walk. First strike about 40% of the time. Speaking of strikes, Kelly Maxwell sits her down on strikes with the rise ball. It's a score. It's going to be today. Can we guess? Is there a reason why? Why is Coach Gasso doing this? Raging. It's like Oklahoma. Jennings laces it right past. Ling Lear's at second base, and she is aboard with a one-out single change. It's round ball right to Vasquez. They're going to try to spin it, and they'll do it. And defense stepping up for the Raging Cajuns to roll a pair and get out of the inning. Senior Sophie Piscos sails this high to center field, and Jada Coleman We'll glove it for the first out here in the second. During those moments. Another pop up on the right side. Alina Torres is going to take care of it. And it's two quick outs. To... 1 1 upstairs, but struck well deep to left field. And that's going to get out of here for a solo home run by the senior, Jordan Campbell. Her second home run of the season. And that'll get the Raging Cajuns up to an early lead, one nothing here in the top of the second. Higher, or it needs to be a little bit more on those corners. One, two, gets the chase right back to Maxwell. And she'll take care of it. Because Hanson, the senior, stands in to lead off the bottom of the second. She'll get it done, one pitch. And Hansen is aboard. Boom pushes the bunts. And what a great play by. 2-2 Two -two popped up on the infield. A little bit of communication, but shortstop Cecilia Vasquez. To the two strikes. She's comfortable battling, fouling off pitches until she gets the one she wants. 3-2, swing and a miss. And Rhea Seto. Leaving runners straight. Maxwell, you got to keep the ball low, and she does. Gets the K. Back to back strikeouts. Really tough conversation. The 1 1 grounded up the middle, and it's a two out single for Maddie Hayden. Perspective at this point in the year. The 2 misses in the dirt. Hayden's going to take off. Hansen has no shot and just like that raging cajuns have a runner in scoring position someone who will continue to grind and find a way to get this team moving speaking of moving as a team and i can tell you this this team through now two and a third innings have just existed they've kind of floated through i think every single one of us has Alyssa Brito stands in and laces a single into center field. And it's back-to-back -back base runners for the Sooners. In the afternoon had a single back in the first, but was stranded. Good pitch. And talk about making a pitch. <laughs> and Alyssa Brito at first to potentially tie this ball game up. As Rio Seto falls behind, two balls and no strikes. Gonna challenge it. Why, why would you not? You took the words out of my mouth. Why would Aaron. you not? Why would you not? If the opportunity is there, and think of how how much fight went into Ooh, getting review in the first. The old obstruction rule. Looks like we are going to get an answer, and she is out. Three, two, laced and hit well to left field. It's going to bounce off the wall. Langlier's run rounds first, but she's going to be held up. So it brings the 2-0. As Hayden takes off, throw gets away into center field. She's going to slide into third and get thrown out. Between Langliers and Glasgow, 
And he's asking her, should I go to the headset? Should I review this call? She said she went back and said no. Miss in the outfield, unmatched. The 3-0 is going to miss upstairs, and it is a four-pitch walk. This will needs these reps. 1-1. One, one. Grounded down the left field line. It's going to be fair. Here comes Valdez, and she will stand up at third base. And Jordan Campbell. Kelly Maxwell fires. And it's going to get down. Valdez will score. And it is back-to-back -back singles for the Cajuns to make it 2-0 Louisiana. The pitch misses low. It is a two-out walk. Payoff pitch. Here comes the 3-2, and it just misses low. Davis will walk to bring in the third run of the ball game. Ground ball right back to Keeney. She will retire Hayden to get out of it. Try to find a way to get some momentum. And sometimes that's all you need as Riley Lutlum lifts a dying quail into center field for a leadoff single. This ball hit well to right center field and Kinsey hits it, does it again! <laughs> again and again and again. This one on that low outer corner. Watch her posture that entire swing. She stays down on that ball, that upper half of her body. She has to go down. She's a tall girl. But the ability to hold that core strong all the through extension. Movement in the Louisiana bullpen. Little check swing. Going to get under the glove. But Langliers takes care of Boone at first base for the first out of the inning. They score the most runs in the fourth inning. Struck ball to left field. And what wow. a play by wow. Maddie Hayden. Those what? <laughs> Oh my Listen, God. We talked about her offensively, right? A, at minimum, a double from Sid Sanders. Minimum. And Aaron, you were an outfielder. How Holy, tough is that catch I mean, over I your shoulder bumps, like that? Like look, actual Mindy, goosebumps. Look at the screen. SC <laughs> Sports Center top 10 nominee. Absolutely. Against that side of a pitcher's dominance. And line drive right at Kayla Falterman in right field. But. Gotta say, start felt too much. Sophie Piscos, one pitch, ground ball to Alyssa Brito, and Carly Kitty retires the side. One, two, swing and a miss by Torres to Mark Riasetto's third strikeout on the day. Line drive right at Sophie Piscos, who tries to fire it over. Jada Coleman back safely. Lifted and it's going to get down right in front of Falterman in right field. Coleman takes off and it will stand up at third. And Tiara Jennings reading the throw and getting into scoring position with two outs. 1 0 grounded right at Piscos. Fires and they're going to say she was on the bag. Was off the bag if we're looking at it on review. And I got to tell you, I'm shocked that this call was not overturned. You can hear it. You don't even need to hear us say it. And the call is going to stand that Ella Parker was out at first base. Lot to unpack, guys. Lot to unpack. The 0-1 is lifted to left field. Jennings is back to make the catch for the first out of the inning. Be looking at the foot of the first baseman, Rowe, to see if that foot lost contact with first. 2-1 laced right at Riley Boone and right field for the second out of the inning. And pitchers count here, one ball and two strikes to Vasquez. Struck well to center field, but we got a Jada Coleman. And that'll do it. Keeney sits him down in order. We head to the bottom. Three one. That's it. Three two in the dirt. And Kinsey Hansen is aboard with a leadoff walk. Boone. Shows bunt, and it's a beauty as Piscos fires. Boone is safe at first. Piscos did about all she could. Pitch out, and Hansen is hung up between second and third. And Hansen is going to be tagged out. And out of the baseline, Boone will move up to second base. And we took. The 3-2 line drive back at
Maria Seto, she recovers to throw out Sanders. Boone takes off and is going to slide safely into third base. Ground ball gets away. But just in time, Langleyers recovers to fire Pickering out at first base. Lifted to left field. And it's going to pop out of the glove of Pickering and Maya Davis. That'll bring up Maddie Hayden. Ground ball right at Jennings in the bobble. Hayden is aboard. Put runners at first and second with one out. Maya Davis takes off on the double steal, and you can see Rose swing through it. Both runners move up to second and third. And no review is made. I'm trying to confirm here if there's any reviews left. Maya Davis scores on yet what will be ruled an error. Brown ball, same play. And this time, the out at home as Maddie Hayden is thrown out. Rowe will move up to second base. Stop, don't just run into the tag at home. It popped up on the infield and this should do it. Jennings will glove it. Base runner right now <laughs> for the Sooners. <laughs> A 3-1, gonna be ball four. And Avery Hodge is aboard with a leadoff walk. Payoff pitch to Jada Coleman. Popped up on the infield. Ellistad is under it for the first out of the seventh inning. Hit well to right field. Falterman is back and she's gonna catch it at the wall. Avery Hodge will tag and move into scoring position at second base. Jennings two for three here today with a pair of singles. Lines this one to the right center field gap. Hodge will score. Jennings is held up at first base. But chipping away to make this a one run ball game. Jennings with the arm. Wow. Tiara Jennings smashes this ball. This ball is low in the zone. I don't even know if that was a strike. It was low outside. She just stays on it so well. But also, wow, Patty Gasso goes to her freshman. Tying run at first base and two outs. Popped up to the right side and it's going to get away from Langlier's. Maya Bland rounds third and she's going to be held up. Ball gets away. Here comes Bland. We got ourselves a tie ball game. And Kinsey Hansen at the plate. It's been defense that has been the Achilles heel for Louisiana all season long. What was the proudest part of this team just a season ago is now the area for the Raging Cajuns that they're bland. And now Kinsey Hansen, who has been the hero so many times, has an opportunity and it's popped up. And what a catch from Victoria Valdez. And you hope that she's okay. As what a catch by Valdez. I mean, an amazing effort. It's tied up at four. Lecker laces a pitch down the left field line. It's going to be fair. Lecker rounds first, but she's going to be held up for a long single to lead off the eighth. Jordan Campbell stands in. Ground ball, Brito picks it off, and it's going to be bobbled for what will be the third error. Uncharacteristic. Ground ball right back to Keeney. It's going to get away. Everybody's safe. So I, to me, that's an error. That should be ruled an error. Ground ball, diving. Tiari Jennings gets away. That will score. Lecker to make it a 5-4 game. Everybody's safe. Bases still juiced. Rage Cage is up. 5-4. And called third strike on Amaya Davis on the outside corner. 1-2 to Hayden. Ground ball to Jennings. Going to get the force at home. And that'll bring up Sam Rowe. Off the glove and into left field. Here comes Ro and Rowe will score. Rowe does it. Rowe, the two RBI single. 
feels like there should be a lot more errors on the board just based on what we've seen. Finally making a routine play to secure the third out. The 1 Fly ball to Maddie Hayden and left for the first out of the inning. Them and making them work. Struck well in the left center field, and that's going to get out of here. Sydney Sanders gets one back with one swing of the bat to make it 7-5. And Sid Sanders chipping away here in the bottom of the eighth. Leadoff was so needed. It was so needed. A solo shot is better than two outs right now, but man, if you can set the table late in this ball game, you know it's just a matter of time before you see one leave the yard. That home run's brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Currents, talk about gamer. 2-1, hit well to center field. Davis is back and she'll make the catch at the warning track. And it's final call for the Sooners. She awaits the 2-1. Line drive, and it's going to get down for a single to bring up Jada Coleman. It's the right approach by Torres. She doesn't overswing. She's not out of her shoes. She shortens up. Ground ball to Langliers. And Louisiana has done it. As they defeat the Oklahoma Sooners seven to five in the 71 game win streak comes to an end.